this is rohan pogwada i am a staff engineer at qualcomm today i am going to show you a demo and quick overview of a machine learning based android application on snapdragon platform the app takes a sentence as input and identifies if the sentiment is positive or negative the code for the app can be downloaded from the link shared in the description For this sentiment analysis demo, we used a mobile bird model, which is fine-tuned using Glue SST2 dataset. This model can be downloaded from HuggingFace.co. The model is optimized for Snapdragon platforms using the Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK for AI. Next, let's see the procedure to create the DLC file. First, we generate a frozen graph of the model using the sa underscore model underscore gen dot py file, which is present in the scripts folder. We convert the frozen graph to a DLC file using SNP TensorFlow to DLC tool. Since BERT models cannot be quantized, we use SNP DLC graph prepare tool to create a more optimized model for hexagon tensor processor runtime. Next, let me show you some of the key C++ functions to load the DLC file and execute it on your Android application. We will build the app so that it can run the model on both HTTP and CPU runtimes, depending on the user's choice from the UI. The build underscore function builds the model for both CPU and HTTP runtimes. We first set runtime as DSP and create SNP objects for DSP using set builder options function as you can see here. We create another SNP object for CPU runtime similarly. Next, let's have a look at the execute underscore net function, which would use the input data and generate the output of the model. Depending on the runtime user wants to execute the model on, we transfer the object property of appropriate SNPE object we created earlier to the unique pointer named SNPE. As you can see here. We then create the input and output buffers using the create input buffer map and the create output buffer map. These functions calculate the size of the buffer required by the input and output tensors respectively and create user buffers accordingly. The SNP buffers created using these user buffers are added to the input map and the output map. Next, we load the input data into the input map using load input user buffer function. We are now ready to execute the model. We do this by calling the execute function from SNPE class. The inputs to the function will be the input map and output map which we created earlier. Finally, we save the outputs from output map and do the cleanup.
Let me show you a quick demo of the app. As you can see here, the model takes approximately 15 milliseconds to complete inference on hexagon tensor processor, while it takes 200 milliseconds on the CPU. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more details about Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK for AI at developer.qualcomm.com.